All right, we're out here on the beach. We got the two long poles out there, one with the pompano rig, other one with the cut bait. They got, I walked out past the sandbar here and cast way out there. My two short poles here, uh, pompano and a, just a Carolina rig. Um, cast it in here before the sandbar. Saw a lot of whiting on my way out. In fact, there's the little guy right there, up close. If I only had my net. I don't know, can you guys see him? He's like three feet off the beach. So very close. Yeah, I might actually have a fish on this one. Yeah, I do. A little guy. But we got our first whiting. All right. See, I can catch fish. <laughs> There you go. See you, little buddy. Keep on going. There you go. Come on, keep coming. Tasty shrimp. Come get him. There you go. You're closer. You're gonna swim right on by it. What is wrong with you? Stupid fish. Oh yeah. We got out there. He's ah, I bet that's a ladyfish. Wait, well, it's jumping. Fish is a fish. Yeah, there. Oh, did I cross my line? I bet I did. Oh no! Is that a pompano? Sweet! Oh no, no, no. Come on, guy. Come on. <laughs> All right. That's a nice size one, too. Calm down there. Ouch. Check out that bad boy. That's exciting. Nice pompano. There we go. We got fish on again. What we got? It'd be great if it was another pompano. Uh, nope. It's jumping. That's skinny ladyfish. Gotta be a ladyfish.
ironically, this is my least favorite rod and reel. It's just old and beat up. And yet, this is what's catching all the fish right now. Kind of crazy. Yep, there's the lady. Hey, you got all tangled up here, didn't you? So today we had a great day out on the beach. Got a nice pompano, so we're gonna clean and cook that. First we got a handy dandy sword knife. Love them, gotta keep the knife sharp, so we'll do sharpener a couple times. All right, so I'm just wondering what this bad boy measured. Uh, here we go. So we are gonna go 16 inches. Nice. All right, so here's a little cleaning method after we push it onto the ground. So I'm gonna leave the skin on, but we'll take the scales off. Just use the back of the knife for that. And scrape all that off because you don't want to eat anything. But you can also use a spoon. But I got the knife with me, so why not just use the knife? Again, maybe a spoon might work better right now because the knife is just a little too long in a couple places. And make sure I get up here on the head too. That's a lot of good meat up here. All right, so we switched to the spoon method because my knife was not getting some of the other areas I want to get. It's got tons of little tiny scales. It's a little bit more difficult right now because it was in the cooler on ice. It's a little stiff, a little frozen. Slippery little bugger. So we'll do the other side. Start out with the knife, because big surface area. And switch over to the spoon. What method do you guys like? What's your preferred method you do that? Use scale. What do you guys even buy those scalers? The little tools are specifically for scaling. I never use those. Typically I skin the fish when I fillet them. The pompano have such a thin skin that I can see that not working very well. Especially for people that aren't, you know, professional fish cleaners, flares. They don't do this every single day. Like me, of course. All right, so we got that done. We'll spray them off here with the hose. So, 
what I like to do, and I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna end up grilling them, putting them on the grill. So, right in here, you feel for the soft spot. And you trim, basically around the skull. There's a lot of good meat up here. So, don't forget that. That's a lot of good meat. As I think some people ignore this, and you're throwing away good stuff. All right, and then you just come straight down as well. And then I'm going to cut the head off because I don't want the head. So we'll just we discard the head. Take out the belly here because we're going to basically just clean all the, the get guts out when we cook them. Just take your finger, pull all of it out. The water hose and spray that out real good. Just want the innards out. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Get all this stuff out. So we're gonna, other than that, we're gonna cook them whole. This is the first time I've done this. Method. Before, I just cut the fillets off. And I'm gonna try this method this time. Some people leave the head on as well. I guess you could. I just don't like a fish looking at me when I'm eating them. You know what I mean? All right, and then take it and Make little lines in here, that way it opens up when we're cooking. The seasoning gets down in there. Turn them 90 degrees. New lines the other way. Flip them over to the other side. Hi guys, okay, it's been a couple days. I had to actually do my job and go to work. So I went out of town doing the cooking portion of the pompano. So get the grill going to about 350, 400 degrees. First you'll take your uh, olive oil and pour it on that liberally, spread it around. careful how liberal you do it if your wife's recording because she will uh, complain. Well, that's a very expensive bottle of olive oil. Oh, shit. It's going on the grill, so it's okay. <laughs> Three second rule. <laughs> that's right. Three second rule. In our house, it's like a one second rule because we have my uh, sous chefs down here below me. And then uh, after you put the olive oil on it, your seasoning of choice. And then we sliced it open so that seasoning would get down in the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and dump a little bit in there too. A 
both sides. And then I like to, you don't have to, this is my, this is my choice. Take little sl slices of butter. Mm -hmm. Nice, thin of butter. And then put it down in the slits as well. So that way when it melts, the butter melts down into the meat. Nice and yummy. A little bit of that inside. All right, then fed our grill preheating, aluminum foil, that way it doesn't stick through your grates. I'm just gonna take it on here, place it on its side. And we'll let this cook for 10 to 15 minutes. We'll check it about seven minutes, uh, see how she's doing. And that's it. All right, looks like it's done. Dive in here, take a bite. How nice and white and flaky that is. Mm. Ah, uh, so good. Very good. Love these fish. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know how you guys like uh, cooking in your pompano in the comments below. And until then, keep the lines tight.